So we've got a Gravely here, a ProTurn ZX60. Customer complaint is that it shuts off after about 30 minutes or that it overheats. Uh, most of the time it's not an overheating issue. Almost all the time it's an issue with fuel supply. Uh, if it's something where it's running for 30 or 45 minutes and shutting off. So I'm going to show you the most common reason that that happens here. So it doesn't matter what kind of zero turn you're, you're on. It just matters what the issue is. So usually the fuel supply issue is caused by the fuel being restricted in one place or another. So this thing did just have the fuel filter replaced on it. We replaced that, I believe, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, a month ago, whenever it was in for service. So I know that's new there. We're gonna go ahead and check out here and I'll show you exactly what happens on these. All right. So first you wanna go ahead and confirm that your fuel line coming out of the tank there. Right at that point, you can follow it over to your fuel filter. I know this was just replaced. We do check the fuel lines on both sides to ensure that they're not dry rotted or anything like that where they could be collapsing on themselves. So we know we were getting good flow up to there. So we checked everything here when it was in then. So if you're getting good flow here and it's still shutting off after a half an hour, you're gonna wanna check your inlet going into your tank. So almost always here, you've got a 90 degree turn almost coming out of every tank that there is. So if you pull that off of there and then pull the unit out, they'll come right straight up out of the tank. So, all right. So on all of them, you'll have a grommet and then you'll have the actual plastic piece. So you can slide the grommet off there Slide the grommet off, so when you're putting it back in, you put the grommet in first, and then you'll insert this back down through here. But usually it gets clogged right up here. So this is, it's pulling in fuel from the bottom here, and right here where it goes to a smaller inside diameter, usually a stick or a little twig or something will get caught right in there, and it'll plug this up. It won't be enough to restrict flow at first, but when you're running for a long period of time, it will restrict it enough that you'll literally just run out of gas. So what I've done here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert that back down in there. I've already blown this out. That was the first thing I did. It was the issue. So I'll show you everything that came out of there. I actually just blew it out by mouth first and then I went ahead and used the air compressor just to confirm everything was out. But everything right here, came out of that fuel there was nothing here when I blew that out all of that came out of that that inlet right there at that 90 degree even though it's showing good flow way over here past your fuel pump that doesn't mean that it won't be restricted if you pull that same amount of fuel for a long period of time so number one issue on these if you're having issues with it running for a for a half an hour 45 minutes and it's shutting off you're thinking maybe it's overheating Nine times out of 10, fuel related issue. Check your fuel flow. Check anywhere where anything can get clogged up. A lot of times also at the fuel lines, you'll get it start to deteriorate and it'll catch anywhere. So if it's deteriorating here, it's gonna catch right here, right as the inlet goes into the fuel filter. So you wanna check any place it gets small at. So it could be anywhere through here, anywhere there's a connector, anywhere there's a fuel shut off, check for restrictions. Number one issue with these, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.